Oh, Jeremiah 17, 4. The book of Jeremiah. Chapter 17 and verse 4. Read. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage. Everybody ain't stopped on the, from their heritage. All right, well, you don't have a land to call your own. And they tell you they picked you up from Africa somewhere. That's right. And that's all they give you, and then they give you watermelon day. And expect you to blonde your hair and celebrate it. And coon and buffoon. On read it. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage Read. that I gave thee. Read. And I will call thee to serve thy enemies. Who? Thy enemies. Read. And the land which thou knowest not. Oh, no. See, when they brought us over here, uh, they forced you to work in those fields out here. They forced. Uh, uh, this is why we got the signs out here. Um, so our people can wake up. You know? All right, how do we get to the kingdom of heaven, brothers? Tommy, what do we got to do to change our situation? Is the same as that answer. That's crazy how they work uh, together. All right, how do we get to the kingdom? Uh, how? Brother. Brother. See how people don't see on the danger is staring at you in your face. That's right. right. Uh, destruction is right in your lap. Right, right. Uh, but we don't even care to get the answers. All right, on how do we get, I mean, salvation? I mean, saved. On oh, read the scripture. The book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. Read. And behold, what came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? See, it's some things our people are supposed to be doing. All right, on watermelon day, on the watermelon day, it ain't one of them. That's right. Right. All right. Now God ain't tell you anywhere in this Bible to celebrate a damn watermelon. Right. right. And then it's a lot of good, I mean, Christian folks out there today on the break of God's Sabbath. Right. That's right. Out here celebrating that thing. Right. right. We are a lost, I mean, people. So on the Christ, uh, the black Messiah. See, they gave you the white boy right here is Christ, right? He don't look nothing like that. You can't find that man in here. That's right. right. All right, on the Christ, he come from the tribe of Judah. Uh, the so-called black man here is from the tribe of Judah. Right. And I told you about your blood being special. You got the same exact blood as the greatest person that ever lived. That's, That's right. right. And they took it and called him a white boy. That's right. So when you see him, and then you see them, you see God. So that's why you got black on black hatred. Right. right. Because I don't see Christ in you no more. Right. Right? So Christ, on what do we got to do to get to the kingdom? Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Read. There is not good but one. Read. That is God. Read. But. But. What? If thou would enter into life. If you want to change your situations. If. If you um, want to stop only being good for popping these sisters off. And on to probably get one of them pregnant. Or they try to man feminize you and turn you gay. If um, we want a man to avoid this, I mean, I mean danger coming, I mean, what do we got to do? Keep the commandments. I mean, what do we got to do? Keep the commandments. I mean, what do we got to do to get I mean, salvation? Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. Now the question is, are we keeping the commandments? That's right. No. 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 Why? Huh? Hard head. Hard head. I'm going to get that out of the Bible. Give me Ezekiel. Hard head. All right. Well, God had chosen his people. Right. And he wrote about his people all throughout this Bible. And he called you hard headed several times. Why? Yeah, because we find anything other in the world to do right now. And to listen to the prophets go precept upon precept in the Bible. Right. That's right. Um, read that scripture. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, and verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. Who? The children of Israel. See what you find out when you read the Bible? You are the children of Israel by blood. That's right. You are better than being called a black or African American. Right. right. You way better than that. Read. To a 
rebellious nation. A what? A rebellious nation. Read. They have rebelled against me. Read. They and their fathers. You and your fathers. All right, on my fathers. I mean, sinned against this word. Because um, you thought it was a fairy tale. Because uh, they taught you Christianity and slavery. And they forced you to worship the white man image of Jesus. And they took your, I mean, Savior and said, all you got to do is believe and you're good. You can be how you want to be and you're good. I mean, but your God ain't playing with you. He understands you, though. And he's going to give you man a way back. All right, I'll read that. Read on. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even until this very day. Even until today you transgressed the laws of God. Right. So the question is, do we want to get right? Um, how do we get right? Following the commandments. How do we get right? Follow the commandments. All right. Um, so we got to repent, right? So repentance is, all right, on the finding out, I've been sinning against God. I've been living the wrong way. I'm not supposed to live that way. And I've been breaking these laws. So on the, what are some of the laws you know, that you're breaking? See the, see the true prophets of God is gonna test you. Right. See on the true fathers, I mean true leaders of the community, it's gonna force the community to change under God's laws. That's right. Only under God's laws is we gonna change. Right. That's I mean, first we got to know on what laws are we breaking? Right. So what laws are you breaking? Uh, give me one. Right. Give me Frank. Uh, what law are you breaking? Huh? Uh, give me First John 5 and 3 first. Bring it up. Because all y'all say you love God, right? Uh, do you love God, brother? Yes, sir. Uh, what's your name? No. Who? John. John. Yes, sir. All right, I'm David. Uh, do you love God? You? Yes. You? You? Uh, how do we love God? Worship. I pray to him. Pray. Praise. Yeah, praise him. John? John? Sir. Uh, how do we love God? Uh, I pray to him. I get it. John, why they ain't teach us nothing in the Christian <laughs> church? Every Sunday they talk about love, right. sin, right. all these things. Why ain't they teaching you nothing? That's right. Oh, um, what is love, brother? Huh? Huh? Uh, what is love? Love is charity. Charity. Love is charity. Let's get a simple definition. Ah, uh, cause you look like a good, I'm um, Christian, brother. Bring it out. I'm sure you go to church, right? Yeah. Um, 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 why don't we know what God says about this type of stuff? It's easy stuff. Now read that. The book of First John, chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. Hey, John, pay attention now. Hey, John, pay attention. You know what I'm saying? John. I'm bad. I'm bad. Hey, pay attention because we finna answer the questions. All right, and whatever questions y'all got, it's an answer out of this Bible for it. Right. That's right. All right, and y'all don't know what love is, I mean, I mean, so we finna show you exactly how to do it. That's right. All right, and read that. The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Right. For this is the love of God. You see that? All your answers can be answered. Read. That we keep his commandments. Um, um, what's the love of God? Keep his commandments. It's what? Keep his commandments. You got to keep his commandments. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Are we keeping the Sabbath day holy, brothers? No. no. Whoa. Whoa. Um, when's the Sabbath day? I say, when's the Sabbath day? Today's the Sabbath day. I mean, why ain't we keeping it holy then? All right, if we're supposed to be the chosen people of God, the greatest on the planet Earth, I mean, why ain't we doing what God says to do? Right. He made it easy for you, man. He said, if you do it, I'm going to bless you above everybody on the planet. Uh, but if you go against my word, I'm going to curse you. Right. You are filling the curses. Ain't you tired? Um, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. No. Aren't you tired of only seeing your people like this? You are an elder. I'm a gentleman. You 
are supposed to be the one out here promoting change in the younger generation. You, all right, it starts with you. And if you don't want to do it, God's going to move you out the way and get brothers to actually come out here and do that thing. Right. right. I'll read that. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Surely oppression should piss you off at the state of your people. That's right. I mean, but they teach you to be separate minded, separate thinking. I mean, Christianity, white boy garbage, and it ain't in the Bible nowhere. Give me the Sabbath day. Get up. Bring it up. Um, because the change starts with you, brothers. That's Who right. else is going to lead our people? That's right. Ain't nobody else. Uh, the white man ain't never going to lead your people the right way. Right. He's the one that kidnapped you, enslaved you, chained you, and now he ain't so bad. Right. You know? Stockholm Syndrome right. at the finest. Right. It has been perfected on our people. Right. Right. I'll read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Read. Remember the seventh day. And the elder man walks away from the word of God. I got How can you call yourself a Christian man and the word is here today? You're right. You're right. I got, I got something to do though, brother. Hey, on the repent. I mean, come to the school and learn what you got to do, brother. Hey, on what do you got to do on the Sabbath day? It's the Sabbath. See, our people, he would have probably been a, on a Christian pastor. Right. In the church. He ain't teaching our people nothing. Right. That's right. Come on, brothers. I don't read that. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. See, God says to remember the Sabbath day um, because you was going to forget that. Um, along with your heritage. All right, the Sabbath is part of your heritage that you're supposed to be keeping. That's right. right. Are we comfortable with just being blacks? I'm reading. Six days shalt thy labor and do all thy work. Read. But the seventh day. Uh, but the what day? But the seventh day is the seventh of the Lord thy God. See, this is a special day to God. All right, it's the fourth commandment out of the, on the ten big ones. All right, and we got over 600 to learn and actually follow. It ain't a lot, though, man, if you can keep the ten. It's the fourth one, the seventh day. It's important to God. And he said to keep it holy. It ain't supposed to be no work in the day. Right. Uh, give me Exodus 35 and 3. It ain't supposed to be no work in the day. I don't read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 35 and verse 3. Read. Ye shall kill them no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. Um, why do y'all think the barbecues and the, <clears throat> and the cookouts is always on Saturday? Who gave you that to do that? On the God said it ain't supposed to be no fire kindled on the Sabbath day. Right. Now, but we have the charcoal grill going. Right. And they give you watermelon day on the Saturday. Right. So that all you so-called African Americans will come out here and celebrate that thing. Right. Right. And at the same time, you're breaking God's law. Right. right. You see the tricks of the devil? Yet we follow him with the blonde hair. Um, God said don't do that thing. Right. It's a curse and a plague on your head. Right. And we put that in because uh, they give us who? Odell Beckham and the NFL. And then our younger brothers say, yeah, I man, that's cool. That's right. Come on, brothers, man. Uh, give me Leviticus uh, 26. On the, on the, so we ain't supposed to be buying and selling on the Sabbath day, cooking on the Sabbath day. And then we're supposed to get with brothers and actually learn the word of God. Right. All right, I'm going to read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23 and verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, concerning the feast of the Lord, Read. which ye shall proclaim to be a holy convocation. Holy convocations. All right, when God gave you feast, high holy days to keep. Right. That's right. That means, I'm special day. He ain't give you watermelon day. Right, right. He ain't give you Father's Day. Right. Who gave you them day? Satan. Who? Who? Uh, who gave you them day? Gave them days. <laughs> Come on, brother. You see the elder generation? You know? I mean, what have they passed down? Man, you on the buying and selling on the Sabbath day. Give me Nehemiah 10. You know? 
And then we wonder why we're plagued with diseases. Right. And the families are broken. I mean, God don't play about his laws. He only gave them to one people. That's right. I'll read that. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, and verse 31. And he calls himself a Christian. I mean, Christian means a follower of Christ. That's, That's right. right. All right, are you going to do what Christ did, right? He ain't break the Sabbath day. That's right. Um, I'll read that. And if the people of the land reign where or individuals on the Sabbath day. On what day? On the Sabbath day to sell that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. We ain't buying on the Sabbath. And with that one law, you're going to cripple this economy. Why? Why? Because all the sales is on what day? All the good sales is on what day? Hmm? I'm saying Saturday, why? Right. So they can keep the children of Israel in sin. That's, That's right. And as long as they got you in sin, you're going to be slaves. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org